is the problem. You can't say that, oh, if it's a hormone and you put it in your body, that makes you unnatural. Because guess what? Vitamin D is a hormone, right? Melatonin is a hormone. You take those and people don't consider those unnatural, right? So you can't say that they're unnatural just because they're hormones or because they're altering your hormones. Because literally everything we do alters our hormones, right? Literally walking, literally getting out in the sun, eating food, everything alters the hormones. So it's like, what is it? What is it about those substances that makes them unnatural? Like vitamin D versus testosterone. Yeah, I mean, you could say that obviously testosterone is more anabolic, but then where's the line, you know? That's why we think of it more of a spectrum. I consider it like the natty or not spectrum. I'm like a four on the natty or not spectrum. And I think that that's a much less limited, more nuanced way of conceptualizing it. It definitely makes way more sense because you're gonna, it makes a thousand times more sense, bro. There's some people that are barely dabble in anything and then just never taking anything anymore. And people will say they're not a lifetime natty when they're literally natural yeah. at that point. Well, I'm curious, is Marshall, is he, is he taking anything more now? No, he's not, he's not. See, this is what I'm afraid of, right? It's like, once someone, like, because there's this dichotomous model, right? Once someone crosses the line into unnaturalness, right? It's almost like they're incentivized to abuse drugs. Because the worst thing in the world is like being labeled as unnatural and then still looking like you're natural. So people are re really disincentivized from taking like a balanced approach and just doing TRT or like just doing a low dosage of a SARM, you know?